we've been talking about it. Tonight is Bakersfield's 40th annual Christmas Parade, and coming up next weekend, another beloved local tradition, the NOR Christmas Parade is back as well. And here to tell us more about what to expect next weekend is Jasmine Labasso with the North of the River Recreation and Parks Department. I love that you are all ready for Christmas with your adorable attire and the, the jingle bear earrings, if you can't tell. Very cute. <laughs> well, the season's underway. <laughs> the season is underway. We have all of our decorations here, and you've got Parade in full swing. All the plans are up and going? Absolutely. We're ready to have our guests this year. It's the 49th, which is a big one. It's a big one. And we're actually even still accepting applications okay. for businesses if they want to submit through 5 p.m. today. So that's okay. the deadline for our businesses and orgs. Uh, for the public, though, it's 10 a.m. on December 10th. So exciting. And it's free, and you come, you pick your spot along the mm -hmm. traditional parade route? Yes. Yeah, so it's on North Chester Avenue. It's our Grinchmas Parade. You pick a spot, like I said, 10 a.m., mm -hmm. show up a little early and pick out your favorite viewing location. And I love this parade because you can see in the video from years past, it's all walking. Do you know the backstory of why no motors are allowed in this parade? I actually do know the story. Okay. So it all has to do with the 70s gas crisis. Okay. It was a way to save fuel. So we've always been a non-motorized parade because our parade actually started in the 70s. Yes. So we have continued that tradition and it's part of what makes it so special and hometown feeling. I never knew that and I've always wanted to know so I'm glad you knew the answer as I just threw that curveball at you. <laughs> so with this you're going to be lined up along, along the parade route and you mentioned Grinchmas. It's a whole theme for everybody? Absolutely. So all of our entrants have been encouraged to take on that theme of Grinchmas and so we hope you as attendees as well take on that theme. It's such a fun one this year. It really is. And you mentioned 40, <laughs> the push-ups crack me up. You mentioned 49th annual. Obviously, we haven't even gotten to this parade, but are you already planning for the 50th? Absolutely. I would definitely start thinking now about attending for our big 50th next year. It's so exciting. So I can't see the weather for you quite yet, but next Saturday looks pretty great in the long-range forecast. Is there anything that people need to bring as they line up to be on the curb there? Uh, no, just bring a blanket. Okay. Maybe it might be a little cold or a chair. Anything that might make you comfortable while you're sitting there and waiting for it to start. Perfect. And do you like other parades have those vendors going up and down with hot chocolate and uh, not at this point okay. however we encourage you to bring your own snacks it is a public area so have a nice hot chocolate with you Perfect. bring some tea we want you to enjoy yourselves yeah and then you clean up that trash as you head back home <laughs> <laughs> yes clean up after yourselves <laughs> okay so we had you on today to talk about the deadline for businesses what's the best way to get a hold of you before 5 p.m. so call us at our number that's 392-2000 or check out our website that's where the application is it's a very easy form to fill out that's if you want to get a group together last minute in the next couple hours, you're welcome to. Yeah, it'd be perfect. You just walk on through again that Saturday, December 10th. We're looking forward to it. Thank Absolutely. you, Jasmine. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.